Hello, hello. Welcome back to Color Me in Style. This is part two of the Harry Potter Studio Tour. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before we proceed. So let's jump right into it. We've just had our food. So, guys, this is the famous wooden bridge, um, which basically starts at the end of the clock tower courtyard in Hogwarts and then ends near the sundial garden. Mm, it was seen in the Battle of Hogwarts where Neville Longbottom and Ginny. And Seamus they destroy the bridge um, making a lot of snatchers fall down to their deaths. Here you can see some uh, fake snow appearing just outside. I can confirm it is like soap mixture so not real snow <laughs> but I think it does the job. Shown as one of the oldest parts of the Hogwarts castle, this used to be the clock tower courtyard. There is a little fountain in there and there also was a pear tree next to it in the movies, but not in real life of course. I'm just loving the level of detail over here and it's so fascinating to be able to stand here. Next up, we're gonna queue to get into Professor Sprout's Herbology class. Say hello to Professor Sprout. So guys, next up is for Privet Drive, which is uh, the home that Harry Potter grows up in. Number four was filmed at a real house uh, in Bracknell uh, in the film adaptation of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, in September 2016, the property was put up for sale. In the following films, it was then recreated in Leavesden Studios, which is here. So let's go inside. So here we go. This is so cool. I love the letters flying in the air. And uh, this scene was one of my favorites. Did you know that Four Privet Drive is based on J.K. Rowling's own childhood home in Winterbourne, near Bristol? Oh, Dobby! No, Dobby's a good elf, remember? Dobby! <laughs> Next up is your night bus. Do I even need to explain? The only sad thing is that you cannot go inside the bus. You can just stand on, on the um, later edge. So we will now continue the tour inside because it's freezing here. 
added feather specialist working for months with different people, making sure each single feather had the right bend, the right colour, the right shape, and each one had to be individually inserted in exactly the right spot on the green. And the machinery inside looks like it was built by NASA. It's ridiculously complicated. It requires many people and a computer. This is how they were made. Oh my god. That is so real. But they were. Look at their eyes. Yes, because they are. They work in the back. Just check out how detailed the set models are. I was so amazed that they also make uh, models of the set in a destroyed state and in a complete state as well. So that's so amazing. So it's time for us to now enter Gringotts Bank. This has to be one of my favorite part of the tour. Um, like the details here were amazing and it just was so fantastic to walk where the cast and crew had walked. Did you know that Gringot was a celebrated goblin who founded Gringot's Visiting Bank in 1474? For the bank's founding and presumably management, Gringot was featured on a chocolate frog card. Now let's check out some of the Gringotts um, vaults and look at all the lovely details. And here's the famous vault number 713 in the Gringotts bank. Next up is Bella. Trix Lestrange's vault. This is where the Horcrux was found. That's the whole crux, the Hufflepuff cup. Now let's look at what the special effects were for the dragon of Green Gods getting out. Are you ready? <coughs> Here comes Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley was a cobblestone visiting alley and shopping area located in London behind a pub called Leaky Cauldron. Inside this alleyway was an assortment of restaurants and shops and other sites and all items on Hogwarts supply list would be bought at Diagon Alley.
This alleyway was completely hidden from the muggle world, but today everybody is visiting here, including me. <laughs> Here's the famous Weasley shop. Right guys, it's time to see what we've all been waiting for, Hogwarts in snow. This is a smaller Hogwarts model and the bigger model will just follow in a minute. Here you go guys, here's the bigger Hogwarts model. It's all covered in fake snow. We're now going to test out some different types of snow. Each I touch. Which one's your favorite then? This one. Polymer. Oh my oh, god, yes. yes! It's so nice. Uh, yeah. I wish I could take it over. Oh. It feels weird, right? <laughs> yeah. Some people love it, some people hate it. But yeah. I love it. <laughs> Which one? This one. How is this one? That one. Huh? Oh, I don't like this one. I think that this one's more dry. Yeah. I think the best. So after you've seen the models and checked out the snow, you come to this little room which has all the names of the people who have worked in the cast and the crew, and that is literally the exit right over there. Family at this point. Yes. And also, if you finish with digital guys, you might go and see this gentleman here. Well, he will take those back for you. So this is the end. Yeah, make sure you've got your family or your group. Yeah, you yeah, can't let you back in. Thank yes, you. Yes, all together. Your family, Three of us. Group. Oh, you're all together, yeah. are you? Thank Lovely. You. So that is your exit into the shop, guys. Um, and just been so lovely i would highly recommend coming to the harry potter studio tour now i'm gonna get a few things from the shop as souvenirs and um, i'll see you again soon with some other adventures that are on the cards please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Bye bye